Here's an old obscure video I found called Disturbing Real Life Simpsons. It was uploaded all the way back in October 2008. Now, it was hard to find the backstory for this thing, but I seem to manage. According to a YouTube comment, this is a skit from the Spanish duo Cruz and Raya, and it was most likely part of the series Cruz and Raya Show, which aired between 2004 and 2007. There is also the possibility that it aired on the series CruzandRaya.com, which was released only a few years before. If I got any of that info wrong, please tell me. Well, and since this video is in Spanish, I personally am unaware of what is being said, so if any of you are able to translate it, I'll pin your comment down below. It's pretty much a live-action skit of Marge and Homer on the iconic Simpsons couch. They mostly just bicker as Homer's fat ass watches TV. They just have these unsettling eyes that pop out at you. It's hard to look away from, but the skit is funny as hell as it is creepy. Especially since the person playing Marge has a really deep voice. It's just such a bizarre piece of media that needs more light shed on it. Here's another old early YouTube video called Link's Ultimate Girlfriend. Uploaded in October 2007, it features a weird aspect ratio and some of the most bizarre visuals seen in one of these cryptic uploads. It mainly features two figures, one of which being an erotically moving mannequin head. The audio is probably more weird than the video. The song uses by Aphex Twin, who are no strangers to creepy internet media. Other noises are interjected, like those of a pig squealing. I'll play that brief audio, but not much as the music is copyrighted. <laughs> Many actually claim this video was made by none other than EA Video Games, an odd Reddit user who would spam the same comment thousands of times back in 2010. I don't know where these rumors came from, so I need someone to really explain it to me, honestly. The channel has a few other weird uploads, but nothing at the level of Link's Ultimate Girlfriend. A few months ago, another YouTuber by the name of Gearisco mentioned a channel that I just had to talk about myself. Is called Fake Mistress and uploaded four videos between 2010 and 2011. There are these art pieces with the flat out creepiest audio I've ever heard. That mainly stems from the first video called White Noise 2. No clue if there ever was a White Noise 1. Apparently, this was shown at the 2008 Neuro Titan exhibit in Berlin, meaning that this channel could have some German origins. Gerasco points out that this audio is, it might actually be German and not just some random squealing. But it was pointed out that this was gibberish after all. <laughs> this video just gives me anxiety, as if someone is going to try and jump scare me in it. For the 2009 Euro Titan exhibit, Fake Mistress showed the following project. Genuinely haunting, and I like that. For someone who has been examining creepy YouTube videos for almost a decade now, it feels invigorating to actually be disturbed by one. The final two uploads are from the 2010 exhibit, which is just really eerie. Kudos to this account though for making some really unique art that I can't find any comparisons to. This is yet another older channel, but one that has posted in recent years, called Daniel Stench. It houses music videos, animations, and other weird projects. Most of these aren't really that interesting, besides two. One just shows these neon lights with an accordion playing. And the main attraction is a stop-motion animation called Static Beef. It was uploaded originally in August 2007, but I'll be using footage from the 10th anniversary edition from 2017. It is higher quality. It stars this alien foot thing with one eyeball. It crawls around until it notices a steak on a plate with maggots all over it. It notices this and teleports itself onto the meat. It then absorbs the maggots through its eyeball. Eh, gross. Then it fucking explodes Hulk blood before some white substances crawl out. 
It forms eyes and stares at the screen. <laughs> the end? There's really no made in everything, but why? I don't have an answer for that truthfully. This next video features an edited version of MC Hammerman's hit song, Can't Touch This. The audio will be cut for obvious reasons. Have a time! So you're probably thinking, wow, what a lame video to showcase in this series. It's about disturbing YouTube videos, not just weird YouTube poops. Well, I felt like mentioning this 2009 video because the story behind it is really disturbing. This dance came from the site, You're the Man Now Dog. It's pretty much a form of YouTube poop, but the face was not photoshopped or altered in any way. That is the face of Brian Peppers, a man who was born of either Apert Syndrome or Cruzon Syndrome. The only reason people made fun of him for his appearance is because, well, he's a... Uh, he's uh, a sex offender. Not just any sex offender, but he's a child predator, the worst kind. Yeah, this dancing man is known for touching a 13-year-old girl. The census thing for Brian all occurred in the late 90s, but his face re-emerged in 2005 with memes. And that leads us back to here. This guy is a horrible human being who passed away in February 2012 at the age of 43. A classic example of a creepy YouTube video would have to be Illusion of Bias. You've most likely heard of it by now countless times, but for the two of you who don't, it's an animated short film released in June 2009. The plot follows a young girl who gets a tumor at the age of 10. It gets removed, which is shown in gross detail. This results in her not being able to see her own face. Now make no mistake, she does have a face, and she can see everything else just fine. Not being able to specifically see that makes her depressed. She even has this dream where she falls into a geyser. A robotic voice says, Everything is going to find its place. Just relax and go with the flow. Just go with the flow. It then tells her she can see her own face again. It then tells her she can see her own face again. She gets up out of bed to do so, only for this to happen. That too was a dream, but it freaks her out so much that she vomits every night. The whole moral lesson is pretty much to appreciate what you have, as others are suffering out there. So who made this? Well, the description says it was made by Alexander Bizarsky, who I assume is the owner behind the channel. The channel being Mind C Base. It's just a clusterfuck of random content. I mean, besides Illusion of Bias, his most popular videos are karaoke versions of famous rap songs. There are also cat videos and music projects like one called White Guys Jumping When You Cross the Bridge. Recently, the channel made a community post explaining the true purpose behind Illusion of Bias. It was really just a vehicle for testing out various hypnotic and influence techniques. The story was just there for cohesion, and he claimed that it turned out too cheesy. He really doesn't think highly of this project, and props to him for explaining it. Apparently he's working on a vlog that will go over all of this, but it's been 5 months. I'm sure you're familiar with the characters of Wallace and Gromit, two British stop motion characters that premiered in the late 1980s with multiple award winning shorts under their belt. However, what if I told you that somebody tried to remake one of these shorts in live action? Yes, this actually happened, and it has to be one of the most disturbing things to ever happen on television. It aired in 1995 on the Lenny Henry Christmas Show, which itself was part of a failed revival of the 80s version. It is cursed, plain and simple. I don't think I've ever seen anything more uncanny in my life. Holy shit! These are the worst character designs ever. They have these beady eyes and floppy mouths of pale vampire-like skin. It's kind of similar to the wrong trousers. 
this time called The Right Trousers. It's kind of like a mixed parody thing, I don't know. Where the dude tried out these lucky pants, and it has audience laughter, which only serves to make things more ominous. A few audience members are heard being revolted by it, and rightfully so. I've never had the right trousers. <laughs> Till now. What do you think, Gromit? <laughs> I built them myself. Based on the trousers Fred Astaire wore in Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> <sighs> when music plays, these dance. Turn the radio on, Gromit. <laughs> <laughs> The ladies will love this. Hey! Oh, 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 oh. Turn it off now, Gromit! <sighs> Look! What the hell were they thinking? I mean, Walls looks like the Galop Go Gap Galap guy, and Gromit reminds me of that man dog from the Pea Salty the Seeing Songbook show. I mean, hands down, this is one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen. And I mention it here because the YouTube uploads from a few years ago are what brought it attention. A weird YouTube channel people fail to bring up is Ronald Yoder Senior Entertainment. It has to be the biggest clusterfuck of a page I can find. First of all, we know nothing about who made this. All of the videos use text to speech, and the owner uses this image of a lion mascot as his profile. Now these videos themselves are not really creepy, just bizarre. Most of them are meme videos or crappy reviews of movies. These goddamn things are just like Grandmama Yoder used to make, so kudos to the food scientists at Kellogg. You nailed it. They are gooey and full of real marshmallows, and I really did eat the whole box in one sittings. However, a few of these piece together into an ARG, which is what I really want to talk about when it comes to Ronald. You may not recognize the name, but you for sure will recognize his most popular video, Look at the Clown. Released in March 2015, this is one of the videos that can actually thoroughly creep me out still. It features the usual text of speech, as Ronald explains this is a video therapy program for his son, who is named after him. A supposed picture of this boy is even shown. Oh, and he has to watch it four times a day until he is no longer afraid of clowns. The techniques are loosely based off of those of Shirley Beverly French with an image of Tilda Swinton being shown. The Shirley person is not real, by the way. The video then actually starts, and the unnecessarily creepy circus-like music plays. Look at the clown. 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 The Texas speech is actually super creepy here. It makes the narrator seem monotone and dull like he's a shell of a human. No emotions at all, just clowns. And these clowns are just edited photos of a few genuinely disturbing pictures of clowns being shown. Those flash on screen for a few seconds. Now it must be said that this video is made as a joke, not to be taken seriously at all. But the vibes it gives off are just damn uh, weird. Mainly because of the added mystery. There really is no face to the channel, just an emotionless being disguised as a lion. A year later, the video blew up on the subreddit deep into YouTube, with the attention convincing Ronald to make sequels. These sequels got more ridiculous, with titles like Look at the Dog and Look at the Frog. The ARG mainly just revolves around Shirley Beverly French being this massive figure, almost like a cult sort of deal. In a video, he even shows how, on Wikipedia, someone changed Tilda Swinton's filmography to include playing Shirley. Some of the more recent uploads have poked fun at the attention Look at the Clown has gotten mainly through iceberg videos. 
because even though it was made as a joke, it's still creeping people out via the execution. I'd go check out this channel if you want some bizarre and shitpost like content with a twist. Finally, I'll be ending this episode with another uncanny mess. The works of Ken Feingold. He seemingly been making these art pieces for the last 20 years, and decided to share them online. His website alone is really freaking creepy, man. Holy ballsack. But when puts a video, these creations are on another level. All of these uploads are documentation clips of these pieces, which are usually of these robotic mannequins of Texas Beach. The most popular upload with over 100,000 views is just these three heads surrounding a pile of black orbs. This one guy kind of looks like Jeff Bezos. Humans are just violent animals. Don't ask me. Let me think. I think that thing must be an animal. Aha. Uh -huh. Is it looking at us? Is it inflexible? What is that thing? Yes. Most of these uploads were posted between 2011 and 2013, but you would be surprised to know that light last year, a new one was made. I honestly have no idea what's going on in it, so let's just move on. The most disturbing video on the channel is called Box of Men, which features these six ventriloquist dummies staring at you, the viewer. Their blank expressions mixed with the weird text of speech makes things eerie to a T. Who am I to judge? What, what happened, happened to, 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 to anyone? anyone? It seems that he knew just where he was going. It is implied that he knew exactly where he was going. So, so then, then. What did she know? We are sure that he knew exactly where she was going. And apparently, according to the description, this is not pre-recorded. It was done in real time with a synthesized computer program. The conversation is generated and could possibly go on forever if the program is still running. The talk starts with figuring out who did an unspecified crime. They might never figure it out, and I don't want to figure it out with them. 